All right, everybody. All right, Zane from Really Easy AI, and it is time for how to use Ideogram. Uh, by the way, this is a lighter weight version of my how to really use series. In how to really use series, we really do a major deep dive. In my how to use series, I'm trying to keep it lightweight within a single session typically and just kind of go through and show you how to do it from login to doing whatever else you want to do. So uh, let's go ahead and begin. There's lots of great uh, pictures flashing here. I've gone to ideogram.ai. Uh, I'm now going to sign up with Google in my case. So I'm going to sign up with Google. I've got an account I use here, my dummy account there that I use. Actually, it's a real account. And then um, it says, hey, uh, join our community username. Uh, we'll call it really easy AI con. That's fine. Uh, your personal name, really easy AI consulting, works for me, create a profile. All right, welcome to Ideogram. Uh, tell everyone to come here. You can see it says, and you know, it's obviously because of my resolution, it's all jammed up. It says, welcome to Ideogram. Get to know the free plan. Uh, enjoy 10 daily credits in the slow queue. That's up to 40 images per day. Skip the wait and generate more with an Ideogram plan. We'll look at pricing plan in a second. Generations are public by default. You can generate private images with Ideogram Plus. Get premium features with a subscription. All right, well, let's take a look at what the plans are. Let's see if it's worth it. So here are the plans for creators, uh, monthly or annual. I'll do monthly because it's a little easier, uh, and that's usually the max price you'll pay. <coughs> so um, you've got the free plan, obviously. Um, and I don't know, it doesn't mention the free. Oh, here, free. Uh, $0 a month, 10 uh, slow credits per day, turn images into text with Describe, access to our community gallery, download and compressed, uh, download compressed JPEGs. And then you have the basic plan, which is $8 a month, um, uh, 400 priority credits. That's a huge jump. 100 slow credits per day, ideogram editor, download original qual quality PNGs, upscale, advanced settings, Tile, search community, custom aspect ratios. So major, major, major bounce from free to basic. Then you have plus, which is everything in basic, plus a shitload more credits, unlimited slow credits, unlimited slow credits, image upload, private generation, image deletion, custom color palettes, 20 bucks a month, which is your standard price for most AI uh, features uh, these days, most AI products. And then you have Pro, producer professional images at scale, everything in uh, plus, pl uh, in addition to 3,000 priority credits, up to 12,000 images, unlimited slow credits, relax bulk generation with C uh, CSV coming soon. So they'll actually allow bulk generation, which is very cool. All right, I'm going to stick with the free account for now and less than until I decide that maybe I want to give basic a shot. We'll see what happens. I, I doubt I will. I would typically do that for the how to really use, but this is meant to be more lightweight. Uh, I'm going to click on start creating and it's asked, what would you like to create? And so I can describe what I want to see. And then of course I can get my images here and there's all kinds of good images. They, so if I scroll down, there's lots and lots of good images. I wonder if I can copy the prompt. Yeah, there we go. Copy prompt. So if I see an image I'm really into and I want to copy the prompt, like this is cool. This uh, sniper rifle is sick. That looks like an on shoots. Uh, I actually shot those back in the day. Um, here's a dog and a guy, uh, some soda. This looks interesting. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Super shop with a little kitty doing something. Uh, a vagabond kitty. Uh, and then there's things here. Gamer girl with a weird mask. And on and on and on it goes. So lots and lots of cool stuff. Um, why don't we take... Um, oh, God, I don't know. There's so much good stuff here. Uh, Batman and Dreads, okay. And, yeah, let's go with the Vagabond Kitty. This looks kind of interesting. It says uh, Super Shop here. So let's uh, copy the prompt. And then what we'll do is we'll paste this. So when we click and describe what you want to see, it pops a little um, uh, editor here that we can work with. So I'll paste in the prompt. Uh, a small, white, poor kitten, age, age, age to 10 years. <coughs> I'm going to say a small, uh, anthropomorphic. Um, you, uh, anthropomorphic white poor kitten aged 8 to 10 years he is very hungry he enters a super shop nope instead he enters a 
uh, grocery store. He wants some food. He is chased away by the authorities. He is crying. He is wearing tattered clothes. Photo illustration. So this is the this is where the money is. Photo illustration, 3D render, typography, cinematic poster, uh, painting, fashion, product anime, and blah blah blah. There's a whole lot of stuff going on here. Yukio dash e. So this is where the magic happens. If I want that, so I can modify this top part. Right, uh, and then get the bottom part. Let's make it uh, five years old. Let's make them younger and more, you know, pathetic looking there if we can. Okay, looking good. So we've got some options here: auto generate, general, um, which I guess is uh, uh, you could well you pick your genre, right, or your approach: general, realistic, design, 3D, and anime. So we've defined that here, though. We did 3D, we did uh, photo illustration. So it's better, I found, with these art elements, These uh, when we're doing art, and I'm not a big art guy, uh, it's better to go ahead and do common delimited lists of the features you want rather than coming down here and picking this stuff. That seems to be the way to go. And that's precisely what they've done here, and that's what I recommend you do. So now we've got that, we can see Magic Prompt is on or off, or we can set it to auto. Magic Prompt, of course, will take your initial prompt and do something with it. Okay, um, yeah, I'm okay with Magic Prompt being on, or at least setting it to auto. Aspect Ratio, notice, uh, well, we should be limited, but it doesn't look like it's limiting us. So let's make it a 16.9 aspect. Visibility, private, aha, there we go, now it pops. Hey, you need a plan. Okay, we'll, we'll keep it plug book. Model 2.0, yep, that's the latest. And notice we can pick 2.0, 1.0, or 0.2. Color palette, uh, definitely auto. Uh, although we can pick palettes as well if we want, but we'll, we'll go with auto. Um, and it looks like there's some advanced features here. Rendering, fast, default, quality. I want to go up, oh, can't do quality. Can I do fast? Nope. All right, so I got to go with default. Seed, if we're going to plant a seed, that's locked. That obviously uh, we need a subscription for that. And negative prompts, if you want to do that, uh, we need a subscription for that. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be happy with this. Uh, should we also say he is wearing a hat and tattered clothes? Yeah, I need some kind of hat. All right, let's generate. And away it goes. It's waiting in the slow queue right now. I guess this lets us know where we're at. Wait 22 seconds. I bet that's built in by default. Uh, my guess is that they automatically build, make in that wait time. And then it begins generating. And hopefully it'll begin generating here in about a few seconds. All right, so there it goes. You can begin. Uh, obviously, it's a stable diffusion model because you see here it starts out real fuzzy and then begins putting stuff in. Okay, well, we get our choices. Um, nope, I'm not liking what I see, and let me tell you why. The reason I don't like that is because uh, enters a uh, turn of the century. Grocery store. Um, yeah, let's try that. That's what I really wanted. Looks like the wait's a little shorter in my second attempt, so let's see how that works. And now you're burning through the credits pretty quick here. We'll have to do a credit check after that. So there it goes. So let's do a diffusion again. And let's see what it winds up with. Pretty quick, though. You notice how it diffuses out. Looks like cowboy hat. No, no. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I can live with that. He's even got a partner in this one. Here he's running from the authorities. I like this one. This one's cool. This one's cool. I like these, these variations. This one right here, I think, is the one I really want. So I'm going to click on that. Uh, there it is. There he is, running away. The authorities are going in one way, and he's going in another. I'm not sure why they're running towards the cans. It's a little weird, but I can run with that. Um, and then once we have it, then now we've got, you know, use uh, text, I guess. No? This is something else. This must be the... Uh, we could remix, we could upscale, uh, we got a prompt, and then we got the prompt that was rewritten to. Uh, we've got all the data on it. Uh, let's go ahead and try a remix and see what happens. So we got a remix option. Let's try turning the prompt off. Remix. 
uh, the magic prompt off. Let's see if it just takes what we give it if we get better results. Um, turning magic prompt off makes the prompt go more directly to the model, so it might be a better option. Let's take a look. All right. Uh, is it done? Or did we have to wait before we could remix? I don't know. My images... Is this the remix? It's supposed to be the remix. Yeah, generation complete. Here we go. Okay, so now the cops are actually looking at the cat. Hmm. I gotta say I'm not a fan of these. It looks like a zombie here. This one, this one, this one. Maybe this one? I mean, it looks angry, though. That's not... No. Eh. Okay. All right, cool. I can live with that. Um, now, how do we get our token count? Uh, looks like we go here to the uh, burgers, uh, burger menu here. We've got four of ten credits left. Very nice. We've got help. We got uh, view profile, help, and documentation. Let's see how good the documentation is. Quick start guide, managing your account, creating your first image. Let's take a peek. A rough pencil sketch fe featuring a boy with sandy hair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Magic prompt set to off. Aspect ratio one one. Model region one. Okay. So they haven't updated their, and they've got some weird cross-outs going on here. Mm, okay. I mean, it looks like good documentation. It doesn't look like it's total crap, and they have some good ideas here, the different styles. Um, so, yeah, I'm on board with this. Try different styles. Try different prompts. Here, I love this, the different prompts, washed out watercolor. So, yeah, they're really getting into some different things you can do. And then this, the text is the real part. So, uh, this is really... i got to try this one because the text is important. And so, they're saying you know, at the top, book title is Michael and his dog. At the bottom, the author's name is John Johnson. Let's try this. Let's give this a try. I've got to see this in action. Text is always a pain. So, let me erase that. So, and thank God they have a clear button. Um, they should all have that. We did one the other day that didn't have that, and it really pissed me off. It was uh, Udio, uh, the sound one. So wash out well color, blah, 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 golden retriever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's make the name a little more complex. Let's make it uh, uh, Zane Debussy. All right. And uh, in this case, we're going to do a create, right? Uh Hmm, there's not a net new create. Hang on, let me capture that. I want a net new create. I don't want a remix. Did I go back to the beginning? Here we go. All right. I had to click back at the beginning here and start a fresh one. So, magic prompt. Do we want it on or off? Uh, I'm going to go with auto. Um, I'll let it figure out if it needs a magic prompt or not. All right. It starts the generation. We see the countdown here. So the first time it took 20-something seconds and then it popped. Looks like they're just baking in about 13, 15 seconds after that, uh, which is cool. And then we see the diffusion model kick in. And let's see how good Michael and his dog, okay? Michael and his dog by Zane. It even got my name right. Look at that. Zane Nabulsi got it right. What? I'm not sure how to respond to that. Did it spell it right in every instance? Yes. Yes. And yes. They have done an outstanding job with this. Look how, look how awesome that is. I am absolutely blown away. This is cool. This is seriously cool. Okay. Um, <coughs> I'm sure there's several other things we could do. Obviously, uh, this prompt, it looks like... Uh, they should probably have a prompt library. Maybe there's use. Do they not? Do we not have a way to save the prompts? Mm, maybe not. Let me go dark mode on that. Um, that's too bad. Let me head home. My images, realistic, blah 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 blah. Huh? They don't have a way to save your favorite prompts. I guess they do it by image then, and you can go to my images and see all the things that you've created at that point. Now, what happens if I don't like variations? Can I get rid of them? Because right now this stuff is being polluted in my mind. Is there a way for me to delete it? Click on the drop down. See the three uh, dots here? Uh, da, download, share, report, edit, use, describe, upscale, remix. Scroll down. I don't see a delete option. 
not seeing it. Um, that would be nice to have. I should have a delete option so I can clean this thing out. It looks like I can like, I can pin it, but I don't see an option to delete. And I'm, maybe somewhere I'm missing it. Maybe some of you are screaming at me going, oh, it's right there. I don't, I don't know, see it. Maybe edit. No, I can't even edit. It looks like it's locked on edit. So interesting. I <laughs> said his profile photo. I dig that. Yeah, normally you'd have a delete somewhere here, but uh, not this time. Okay, all right. Cool features. I like it. Uh, hopefully you like it too. Um, get in there. Play with it. Ideogram.ai. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.